everyone, happy day 287. Today being Monday, it's time to take out our weekly evaluations and ask ourselves the four questions. One, did my plan work for me? Two, what needs to be adjusted? Three, how do I feel? And four, what is a positive from last week? For me, one, my plan worked. Two, this week nothing major has to be adjusted. We came home from camp yesterday, so I will be able to go back to my home plan for the next few days. Three, I feel well rested, especially because I got to sleep in my own bed last night. And four, a positive from last week would have to be being able to laugh at my quirkiness and learn how to let go of control little by little each day. I would encourage all of you out there to take a look at last week and ask yourselves the four questions. This morning, after I got the boys their breakfast, I headed over to church to say the rosary at 8.30, followed by mass at 9. In the gospel today, we hear another tough message. Jesus said to the di disciples, Do not think that I have come to bring peace upon the earth. I have come to bring not peace but the sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And one's enemies will be those of his household. Wow, so what happened to the kind, loving, and peaceful Jesus? Jesus is still all of those things and wishes for us to be all of those things too, but he knows the reality of our free will. In these few sentences, he is being brutally honest with us. Jesus knows his truth can either bring people together or it can slice them apart. Not everyone that hears the truth will accept the truth. In the Monarch and Moms group, there are many women that have been pierced by a sword. Their spouse, child, or loved one has rejected Jesus' truth, and it has divided them in half. But instead of choosing their husband, son, daughter, or in-laws, they have chosen Christ. No matter the pain or hurt they feel from the sword of division, they take up their cross and follow Jesus. To me, these women are real everyday heroes. They teach me by their example what it means to love our God with all one's heart, with all one's soul, and with all one's mind. I hope all of you out there have a blessed day 287. Please know that I am praying for you always, and I will see you tomorrow.